Now, Prince William and Kate are aboard the Royal Train this morning. It's part of a three-day tour of the UK. They departed from London Euston last night. And the trip is all about thanking heroes of the pandemic. Well, Royal Editor Russell Myers is here in the studio. It's Hello. exciting. Hello. <laughs> I mean, socially distanced and all nice. of that, but it's lovely to see you. This is a special thank you trip and I guess a bit of a morale booster as well. It really. is. A bit of Christmas cheer. And yeah. we all need cheering up. So uh, William and Kate are doing a three-day tour of Britain. They're starting in England, don't know where they're going. It's all sort of shrouded in secrecy. Okay. Mainly to sort of keep the numbers down of people who will obviously gather when they turn up at of places. Of course, that makes so, sense. So uh, a couple of clues perhaps from... Kate was wearing a tartan scarf yesterday, so we don't know where they're going to end up today. Maybe. And a gorgeous green coat. If anybody's been watching that thing with Nicole Kidman, <laughs> oh, yes. it's like that, isn't it? This is beautiful. I'm just talking about our coats. So, now look, the train, the Royal Train. Yes. Are we talking the Orient Express? Is it gorgeous and luxurious? Well, you would, just, you would assume, wouldn't you? Yes. Apparently, it's the Queen's favourite mode of transport. Right. However, it isn't that luxurious. It definitely hasn't oh. been updated for, for decades. Now, there is a, a rather grand uh, not table. Bad. I mean, it's his and hers beds. There's uh, oh. single beds, so right. it's not a sort of a very, very luxurious. Did I say the sleepers? Well, oh, mind you, you don't get a bath in the sleeper. You don't. You no. don't. And there is a, this is a special bath because it's got a line on it, so it tells you where to fill it up. Because in case you go around the corner, you'll be <laughs> oh, you flying out with the bath water. Happen. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, there is a rather grand table with sort of 12 banqueting table. But right. uh, yeah, so they're going up um, sort of overnight. And then they'll be, uh, over the next couple of days, they'll be here and there thanking Good. the heroes of the coronavirus crisis, sort of uh, hospitals, schools, care workers, that sort of thing. So, yeah. It's been great. It. Both of them have been fantastic they all have the way indeed. through this. Has very, very, sometimes very under the radar as well. Because Kate has been doing some, well, secret volunteering. We know about it now, but, it, but she did do it quietly. Yeah, this she? is really lovely, actually. It's sort of the, the most unlikely of friendships. The future queen and an 85-year-old chap called Len Gardner from Bailey in West Yorkshire. And uh, it's part of the Royal Voluntary Service uh, with their Christmas Together campaign. Right. And... Um, uh, Kate has been calling him, sort of checking in on him, and he actually said it was one of the best things he's had in recent years. He said Aww. it was treasured conversations with uh, the Duchess of Cambridge. And, That's you know, so nice. it's all about like checking in with people, isn't it? We all, yeah. we all should be checking with people, yeah. seeing how we are, sure. checking in your neighbours, and, uh, yeah, lovely, it's lovely, a lovely It's a lovely thing to do. Lots of us have been doing that and just having chats with people. And do you know what? It's really... It, it actually helps you. It does, you. yeah. We're getting, totally uplifted. Getting to know your neighbours, your yeah, postie, if yeah, you haven't spoken just, to them, so hopefully great. we'll continue it's it. really good. Next. Yeah. Really good. Now, look, Meghan and Harry launching their own awards yeah. for the same kind of idea, isn't it? Thanking people that have been doing amazing things during the pandemic. Yeah, well, we're sort of seeing them sort of strike out on their own, aren't yeah. they, over in yeah, the yeah. States? And uh, I don't know what we can call these. They're like the Oscars. Maybe we we'll call them the Meggies or something. The Meggies. Um, but they are sort of an honours. <laughs> the they want to create the Harrys. They might <laughs> want to create a, a sort of um, award system, an honours system of their own. They're setting up their new charity, Archwell. And it is about sort of thanking people who have gone on, you know, above and beyond, front and centre. Obviously, Harry's really involved with uh, Invictus Games sure. and uh, military as well, so maybe that will form part of it. Mm. So, again, all just for saying it. Thanks. Yeah, just saying thanks to yeah. people. And I think it means a lot. That means an awful lot. Now, obviously, they've got this deal with Netflix. Netflix, yes. of course, are kind of in, you know, butting heads with the royal family. What's the... Over the row of the accuracy mm. of the crown, of course. What's the latest on this? Well, thing? this controversy is rumbling on, it and is, I don't think it? it's going to go away mm. anytime soon. Sort of Netflix are digging their heels in, really, because there's a lot of calls whether uh, the latest series, which has, um, you know, been very widely received by all the fans, but, you know, it's, it is a drama. We must remember that. Yes. Oliver Downs and Culture Secretary last week called for this sort of health warning yeah. on it. And uh, Netflix have broken their silence. They told the Mail on Sunday this weekend, uh, we've always presented The Crown as a drama and have every confidence our members, that's the viewers, yep. understand it's a work of fiction and that's broadly based on historical events. So mm. I, I think they're enjoying the publicity oh, a well, little bit. Of course bit. they are. Everybody's talking about this. The are. thing is, for us, especially for me, because I'm older than you, a lot <laughs> older, um, we've kind of lived through this. Yes, yes. So we know, we can sort of take the truth from... But, but a whole new generation is growing up and watching this and they will think that that was gospel truth. That's now, a lot of it is. Yeah. A lot of it absolutely is. But there are, you know, they weren't in the room when well, people were talking. It's the so finer details, don't... isn't it? And that's, yeah. that's the issue. There are a lot of people coming, uh, you know, supporting the crown and thinking they, they weren't necessarily royal fans sure. in the uh, past. A lot of younger Although, viewers as well. Do you know what, Russell? It's not done them any harm because the, the, the royal family generally, not all of them, but the royal family, <laughs> Prince Andrew, <laughs> <I don't> know, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> not all of them, but they are actually enjoying even more popularity than before. 
for? They are. And this is another poll, actually, sort of their approval ratings have shot mm. up. And we've spoken quite a lot about them getting out on Zoom. Even the Queen's doing Zoom calls, web calls yeah. now. Um, and, you know, their popularity has shot up. The Queen up 25%, Charles up 8 Maybe that's sort of a... Uh, that may be a crown a issue yes, with the crown. Maybe uh, Diana is up thirty percent, and this is probably the younger viewers sort of checking in with the royal family. Oh. She's, you know, she's quite portrayed as quite a sort of sensitive mm. soul, isn't she? Yes. So um, they, they've had a, a, a wonderful sort of resurgence with the coronavirus mm. crisis, and I think they've actually really shone a light on the real big causes that well, we should be is, speaking this about. This is where the royal family should be stepping up, exactly. shouldn't they? That's and they why, should that's be why doing. We pay our pound a year for well, them. exactly, and they, and they, and to be fair, they absolutely have. I mean, we were just talking there with. Dr Hillary about the Queen making sure that she gets the vaccination. We won't see her actually getting the jab, I'm sure, but, yes. but she will tell us that she's had it done. Yeah, and that's quite important, isn't mm. it? It's, you know, it enters the sort of national conversation yeah. about the, the COVID jab, and I think it will be a really important um, gesture for the Queen, potentially other royals, to, to let it be known that they have done that. Absolutely. Russell, thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.